Welcome to the Raw Mill Theater! Thanks for coming out tonight on this beautiful night. This is the 18th Raw Mill Theater by my count. So, I wasn't here at all of them, but many of them. My name is Zach, I'm going to be emceeing tonight and introducing the acts. The outhouse is around back, in case you were wondering. It's lit up, has all you need. Um, there'll be some raw milk over here. Um, come over during or after, help yourself. Uh, yeah. Those are all the uh, things we need to discuss before we go to our first act, Al Salzman. He's been here many years. He's doing an act tonight called 400 Years of Poetry. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a whole night. <laughs> I feel as though I've just been resurrected. <laughs> yes, okay, so this is going to be, can you hear me back there? Good. This is going to be a very quick journey through 400 years of poetry. I'll identify the poets, the poems are rather short, but they start in 1599 with a man named Robert Herrick. And uh, this is a poem about watching his lover pass by. <laughs> When as in silks my Julia goes, then, then methinks how swiftly flows the liquefaction of her clothes. Next I cast my eyes to see that brave vibration each way free. Oh, oh, how the glittering taketh me. Robert Herrick, 1599. Um, about the same time, 1600, John Donne, no man is an island, entire of itself. Each man is part of the continent, part of the main. If a clod be washed away by the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, or where a manner of thy friends were, or thine own were. Each man's death diminishes me, for I am involved in mankind. Therefore, do not send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. John Donne. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do break the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is its gold complexion dimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest. Nor shall death brag, thou wanderest in a shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest. As long as men can breathe and eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. William Shakespeare. I'm going to do two more Shakespeare sonnets. I, I happen to love them. Um, his perceptions were, were extraordinary. When, in disgrace, with fortune in men's eyes, I alone beweep my outcast state and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries and think on myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, Featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy, contented least. Yet, in these thoughts, O oh, most despising, haply I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day, arising from sullen earth to sing hymns at heaven's gate, for thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. William Shakespeare. One more Shakespeare. This is William Wordsworth, 1809. The world is too much with us late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers Little we see in nature that is ours. 
We have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. This sea that bears its bosom to the moon, the winds that would be howling at all hours, but are upgathered now like sleeping flowers. For this, for everything, we are out of tune. It grieves us not. Great God, I wish I were a pagan, suckled on a creed outworn, so that I might have glimpses of Proteus rising from the sea, or hear old Triton blow his wreathed horn. William Wilson, 1801. Uh, Emily Dickinson. Um, hope is a thing with feathers that perches in our soul, or that sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I've heard it in the coldest land and on the strangest sea, but never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. Emily Dickinson, 1850. They've mapped the human genome and computerized the mind. And soon they'll clone the poet and others of his kind. Emotions, if not binary, won't match the numbered code. The artist's hand is set aside for electronics a la mode. To take the measure of your love, log on to cyberspace for a colored laser printout of your enamorata's face. The genetic code is broken. They can chart the DNA and soon will live forever and ever rue the day when books decayed and yellowed and we grew weary of the arts and programmers discovered how to digitize our hearts. Mm. Al Salzman. <laughs> Thanks, Al.